Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a homeware. I keep, I keep saying homeware because I watch too many UK people, but anyway, it's a home decor haul. A little while ago, we were out for a walk and we came across some model homes. And it's like a random hobby of mine. Whenever I see them, I cannot help myself. I always have to go in. We're not looking for a home or anything, but like I, there's just such a good source of interior design. So yeah, it's like a random hobby of mine. I always go in them. So uh, that day we literally spent over an hour just going in and out of like at least like eight to 10 models. <laughs> and they were so, so, so beautifully um, decorated. I took a hundred pictures and lifted up lamps and carpets and chairs to see the tags. Ever since then, I've been feeling super motivated to get this house together. We've been living here for like a little bit, yeah, like a little bit less than a year and the place is like so not together. I think there's like a couple places in the house that are like a little bit more put together, like the, I was using the bedroom, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's really not together. I think the place that's like more homey so far and like filled with stuff is probably like this living area with the couch and like the TV setup. So anyways, like I said, feeling super motivated to like get this place looking more like a home. So over the weekend, my mom and I went shopping and then yesterday I went shopping with Dustin. So I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up. Uh, we went to tons of stores, but the stuff that I'm gonna show you are from Simon's, Urban, uh, I keep saying Urban Outfitters, uh, Home Outfitters and Ikea. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys everything. So the first store I went to was Home Outfitters. I don't know if you guys have it in the States, but we have it here in Canada, but we no longer will have it. Um, they are closing down and they're clearing everything so this weekend we went there was 70 to 80 percent off and it was so like it's always weird when the store's closing down you go and like half the stuff is missing but it was especially weird because like i said it's a home store and there's clothes and shoes there i have no idea why i know my first thought was like okay so the company owns clothing and shoe company as well but then we ended up looking at stuff i didn't even want to at first because it's like such a disaster i didn't want to look through racks but then i started to a little bit and realized there was stuff from topshop there lord and taylor um aldo shoes call it spring and i literally have no idea what was there but the sale was so good that i was like oh okay i picked up some clothes as well there's only two pieces but super random but that's where i got them from so i had to show you guys but first thing i saw right when i walked in was this it's a like cement like plant pot it's i don't know if, i guess it's actual cement i don't know why i said cement like it's very heavy i really like the super like modern simple minimal I'm not sure what i want to put in here i think the first thing that popped in my mind was um those snake plants i think that would be really nice in here and i don't know where i'm gonna put it i feel like this one's gonna go in the bedroom it's gonna have to be a small plant like it's not that big but anyways i thought it was super cute so this is the first thing i got i don't remember the original price but i believe i paid like 22 dollars for it and then next thing is in here it's just a little face towel that i got i just thought i would grab myself an extra face towel because i only have two right now i like to rotate them out frequently because i don't want to be dry my face with a dirty towel but then like i get lazy and laundry's not done and i end up using it so much longer than i want to so i thought i'd pick up a third one it's this cute one i like the pattern and the color honestly was super random i just like saw the pattern and liked it doesn't really match anything else but it just goes in my drawer so it's fine so pick this up i think i paid like two dollars for it which is awesome Okay, so the next two items are not home related at all. Um, the first thing is this silk skirt that I picked up. It's theory, which is crazy. Like, why is that there? I have no idea. Like, I don't understand. But super pumped about that. I, by the way, I will try to link everything down below, including the random clothing. So silk skirt, it has a little slit on the side and I love this pretty pink color. I'm super excited to style it up. Um, if you guys haven't seen, I did a video where I do three ways to style a silk skirt. So if you guys have a pink one, that applies as well. I'm gonna be styling it pretty much the same ways that I did in that video. So check that video out. So yeah not much else to say about it i'm just really happy with it i'm really happy to have it in my closet now okay so the next item is like i scored so big and i'm so excited it's not even funny i got these babies i know okay i need to calm down so i picked up these boots they are vince camuto which is like so random again like why were they there they were originally 295 dollars and with the sale i got them for only 60 dollars which is such a huge score like oh my god 
Mm, I'm so excited. So they're like pointed heeled black leather boots and they have like studs all over them if you can see and I love it. I was just like pushing my cart behind my mom and then just like caught them in the corner of my eye and I was like, ooh, those could be cool. Grabbed them, wasn't really sure about them because of how wide the opening is. So I have like really skinny, <laughs> awkward ankles. So sometimes it doesn't look good when the opening's huge and like my skinny leg is coming out of it. But I thought these looked really cool and I'm so excited. I'm like, someone needs to invite me somewhere so I can wear these because I'm obsessed. And the thing about these is that they're so comfortable. I don't know, like how big is that? It's not that huge of a heel, but anyways, they're super, super comfortable. I'm like, I'm never buying cheap shoes again because these are so comfortable. If you guys live in Canada and Ottawa specifically, and you're in the Orleans area, that's the Urban Outfit, or oh, I keep saying Urban Outfitters. That's the Home Outfitters that I got these at, and there was another pair in an eight and a half as well, so. Just saying, if you run fast enough, you might get the other pair. The final thing I picked up at Home Outfitters, I can't show you guys physically right now. It was a linen duvet cover with the matching pillowcases. We were just really excited to get rid of our old one because it was hideous at this point. Um, so it's already on the bed, so I'll insert a clip to show you guys. But yeah, that was on sale too. I think it was originally $200 and we got it for $60, so. If you guys have a chance, definitely check out the Home Outfitter sale because the prices are so good, but they're literally like nearly on empty. Like there was barely anything there. I'm surprised I even got the awesome stuff that I freaked up because they're really, really running low. So if you guys have a chance, definitely go and check it out. The next store I forgot to mention in the intro at all, uh, we went to Stretchu. I love Stretchu, I really like a lot of their pieces. The only thing I don't like is that often you go in the stores and there's stuff packed in boxes like on the floor and I don't know why like they don't have a back area to put stuff that's not open yet like I don't get it it makes the shopping experience less appealing when you go towards the back of the store and there's just like boxes and it's like crammed but anyways love their pieces I really like shopping their stuff I only picked up one thing which is this pillow we were there to pick up a mirror that we had seen in one of the model homes but the last one that they had was broken and that style of mirror got discontinued so we weren't able to pick it up but anyways just picked up this pillow I just wanted a little decorative pillow well I want many decorative pillows but this is the first one I picked up uh, for the bedroom it's kind of like a linen material as well to go with sorry <laughs> to go with the linen duvet set I like that this one is like cream off-white because this is the color that I wanted the linen for the bed to be but it turned out to be like just really really white so I like this to add a little bit more color more well not color but like variety but still keeping it neutral I think I'm still gonna add a little pop of color maybe like a dusty pink or something I don't know we'll see but at least this one has texture and contrast with the black I really like the little like square sorry I'm not even showing you um the little square pattern on it so yeah really like it it's super cute and I'm really happy about it it was only like $21 or something yeah I think so anyway so yeah this is the only thing I picked up from Shrek 2 okay next I'll do Ikea I debated even show you guys these because they're like super random like not really decorative to be honest but whatever I thought I'd show you the first thing we picked up okay it's kind of decorative is a toilet scrubber, <laughs> a toilet scrubbing brush. Um, we had one from Ikea before. Um, it was like the silver one with like the squares cut out around the top. Don't like it at all. Like I liked the look of it before it was simple enough and it's like a toilet brush. I was gonna make a big fuss about it, but it's like stainless steel and there's like, it gets so many footprints all over it and looks so ugly and like, no one wants to take the time to like clean a toilet brush. Like that's why they come in these to like, be hidden and put away because they're gross. Anyways, we thought we'd change it out for this black. It will match just as well as the other one, but I just prefer its look and it's not gonna get the fingerprints all over. So yeah, so we picked this one up to replace the other one. And then next two things, not decorative at all. <laughs> just the spatula that we needed and then the squeegee. <laughs> Super random, don't know I'm showing you these. So, random fact, when we were first moving in, we went to Ikea, and Dustin was like obsessed with us, like wanted to pick this up, and I was like, who actually uses these like for windows and stuff? Like, I just don't feel like people do. But anyways, he started using them to clean the countertop, and <laughs> now I've like adopted it, it's actually a great way to clean the counter. Like, we use a lot of water and like soap and stuff when we really wanna give the counter a good clean, and then you just into the sink, and it actually works so well. <laughs> Oh my god, you know those things that like you swear you'll never do, but then fast forward and you're like, here I am, you won. <laughs> Anyways, I got a squeegee. 
And then the next thing we got ugh, is this bin. I don't know what it's actually meant for, but we're gonna use it as a recycling bin. We have like huge recycling bins outside, but like I obviously don't wanna bring them inside. Like that doesn't match the decor and they're hideous <laughs> um, and blue and black. Um, so we thought we'd get this one. We're just gonna tuck it in our pantry and use it for the plastic recycling. And then we have a little one for under the counter for the paper. Um, just an alternative because the typical um, recycling bins are just like not aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, we got this big white bin instead. Um, yeah, so that's all we picked up at Ikea. Oh no, we got bowls, just like the plain white bowls that like everyone has. I'm not gonna show you. Um, yeah, we had them already, except I eat a lot of oatmeal and cereal, and Dustin's had it with me in my, like, intense bowl use. Because every time he goes to use one, they're, like, all dirty because of me. So, yeah, anyways, got bowls too. Now for the most exciting part of the haul is, oh, let me get my giant Simon's bags. I love Simon's. If you don't like Simon's, we can't be friends. I love Simon's. Sorry, headphone users, RIP to your ears. Okay, so first I picked up these two soap dispensers. This one is in a brush gold, and then this one is kind of like, um, oh my god, what are those called? Mason jar. <laughs> wow, that took so long. Yeah, it's like a mason jar painted white. They're for the spare bathroom, the second bathroom that we have. I just was not undecided about which one I wanted, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep both because we do have a powder room downstairs that needs something. Not sure, I think I'm leaning towards this one more. You guys let me know which one you like. I'll see how like the rest of the stuff that I got for that bathroom goes together. But yeah, I think the gold's gonna end up winning. This one was $18 and then this one, oh, same price. They're both $18 from Simon's. And then the next thing we picked up were some towels. We got two white towels. They're super nice. I think they were, yeah, these were $30 or $28 each. They're super soft and they have this like nice print on the bottom. The next thing I picked up is this beautiful basket. I absolutely love it. It's like this straw basket with two handles. I don't think I've ever seen this before, um, but I really like the plastic like detailing on it. The little like, I don't know, this detail, the colors. <laughs> I'm so bad at describing things, but like you can see it. It's really nice. <laughs> but yeah, so I just picked this up to have on the floor in the living room uh, to put our blankets in because Dustin always insists on putting them like in the sections of the console table and I'm like, that's just not the spot for blankets. So yeah, hopefully that solves our dilemma because I just cannot. <laughs> Um, I definitely want to pick up another basket. It doesn't have to be the exact same, um, but I think I want one in the bedroom for to put the decorative pillows when we're not using them. So yeah, we'll see. Next is the prettiest garbage I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's similar to the basket I just showed you guys. It's the same straw and like rope detail. No, it's not a rope. Um, I really don't know what it is. You know what it reminds me of? Um, if you're a 90s kid, you'll know this. It looks like the gimp that we used to make like bracelets and keychains out of at recess. If you're a 90s kid, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, anyways, super pretty garbage. It's gonna go in that second bathroom that we have. And then inside it, which I totally forgot about, we picked this up from Simon's as well. I was just passing by and I was like, oh, we could use this. It's supposed to be for soap, but I was thinking about putting it inside the kitchen sink instead because right now we have a metal one to put the sponge in but it always turns the sponge black and makes the sponge look so disgusting and dirty when it's not like I'll have a brand new sponge that I barely use because we have a dishwasher and then it's like black and gross so anyways we're gonna try this one out and just to leave that sponge in the sink so yeah this was eight dollars We'll see. Next is another towel, except this one is more of a tan brown color, and it has these tassels at the end. Um, this is gonna go in our second bathroom also. I guess I was really motivated to get that bathroom done <laughs> that day. I wanted to get like a full towel, not just a hand towel, because it does, that bathroom does have a shower, and the towel rack is long. It's not one of those little ones. So yeah, I just wanted to have like a nice big towel, and not just like a little one, because otherwise it just looks like unfinished. The final thing I picked up at Simon's and the final thing in this haul is this stunning, stunning, I never thought I would call a bath mat stunning, but like, 
<laughs> this is the prettiest bath mat I've ever seen. I love the braided material and it's so soft and so pretty. And it's gonna go in that second bathroom again. <laughs> Oh my god, I only shop for one space in this house. Anyways, that's everything I had to show you today. I will try my best to link everything in the down bar. Um, so check it out if you guys want to pick up something. And let me know what your favorite items were that I picked up. And if you guys want to see more home decor content. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm always holding my own hands. Like, I just need that emotional support. <laughs> Woo, okay. Wow, I talk a lot with my hands and I'm yelling. So.